Salesforce Sales Cloud is a cloud-based customer relationship management tool for organizations of all sizes. If you're in the market for a CRM solution, you'll want to consider Salesforce Sales Cloud. But if you're not sure where to start, we can help. Use our product selection tool at technologyadvice.com to get a free list of CRM software recommendations. Click the link in the description below to get started. Salesforce is a large software company that makes many different products for sales, marketing, e-commerce, analytics, and more. You can get access to the full suite of Salesforce products through Salesforce Customer 360. But if you only want access to the core sales tool, then Salesforce Sales Cloud is your best option. Leads and opportunities are the foundations of Salesforce Sales Cloud. For both leads and opportunities, you can see all of your records at once or select certain segments to view using the List Views button or the filtering tool. You can also see leads and opportunities in different views, such as Table, Kanban, or Split View. Clicking on a lead or opportunity, users can see detailed information. Stages appear at the top of the record, and you can easily change stages by clicking Mark Stage as Complete. The Activity tab lets you log calls, add new tasks, create new events, and send emails. Your activity history appears below for quick reference on your communication history with an opportunity. The Chatter tab lets you comment back and forth with colleagues, and Details lets you view and edit data about the record. You can view more information about a leader opportunity in the boxes appearing in the right-hand side of the user interface. In addition to some basic reporting on the home screen, Sales Cloud also comes with a powerful tool for building reports. When you create a new report in Salesforce, you'll be asked to choose a report type based on a number of different record types. For any record type you choose, the system offers a number of different reports to run. Once you choose a report type, you can customize the report by adding and removing various rows and columns and by changing the filter criteria. Depending on the type of report you run, you can also add charts to your reports. These can be displayed as bar, column, line, donut, funnel, and other types of charts. The Dashboards feature in Sales Cloud lets you create and share dashboards and subscribe to automatic refreshes on a set schedule. You can create multiple dashboards and save them to different folders to control who can see certain dashboards. Once you create a new dashboard, you can customize it by using the component button to add new charts, reports, and visualizations to your dashboard. If you've created reports in the past, you can bring those into your dashboard and customize the way they're displayed. When you're finished building your dashboard, save it to a publicly visible folder to give your colleagues access to view it, or save to a private folder so only you can see it. As time goes on, you can manually refresh your dashboard to see the most up-to-date information, or you can subscribe to automatically refresh the dashboard and receive new results by email on a certain cadence. While Sales Cloud isn't a stand-in for a project management or a task management software system, it does offer a basic feature for task management. This feature is good for keeping track of to-dos following interactions with a contact. Tasks can be one-time or recurring, and you can designate them as related to certain contacts and accounts. Each task gets a name, an assignee, a due date, a priority, and a status. Unlike more robust task management solutions, Sales Cloud only lets you designate a task as open or completed, but you can also create reminders to help prevent tasks from falling through the cracks. Still not sure if Salesforce is right for you? Use our product selection tool at technologyadvice.com to get a free list of CRM software recommendations. Click the button on the left to get started.